Jackson Area Club soccer officials are asking for help as they try to deal with vandalism on some of their soccer fields. Yeah, and now they're taking it to the police. Nate Telazar is here for you with a look at the damage and what's being done. It, it's really tough when you're trying to build something for a community and you have, you know, people that do this. Chris Perez is a coach with Jackson Area Club Soccer. For over a year, they've been trying to renovate the fields next to Northeast Elementary School, but some community members don't share the sentiment, leaving destruction in their wake. Um, more tire tracks actually spin outs on our fields. Showed up at practice before and had truck marks going through an entire field. See, this has been a problem going on for a while and it's been trucks or quads or side-by-sides. And it's not just the turf, but they've even had a shed broken into with expensive equipment stolen. It's an issue that's only growing with the nice weather, and as more and more kids get out on the field to play, so do these joyriders, sometimes at the same time. It's a safety issue with the kids. The soccer club has tried to deal with them by putting up over 20 signs, but now... Only three of them are still up and, and, and look like the sign behind me. The rest have been tore down or broken. Now they want action. When 6 News reached out to the Jackson police today, they told us their officers will be briefed. I'll let all the officers know about this incident so that way they can give it extra patrol both during the day and at nighttime. We're going to speak to neighbors in the area. They could be charged with malicious destruction of property or trespassing. Perez and Elliott say they will be putting up cameras, but a fence could take some time and fundraising. Until then, they hope their message gets out. We ask that you don't do it. Think about the kids. Think about if your kid was playing on these fields, what, what would you do? Here for you in Jackson, Nate Salazar, 6 News.